And there we go. A little bit of acoustic love for all you Ibanez fans today. Yeah, we're um, back. Uh, before we go into this video here, uh, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because there's 10 of these videos coming out today, so oh. don't miss anything. And you click up here on the left-hand side, pop up banner. <laughs> To probably be some other videos. In yes, there. so uh, normally our, the lovely Ben Smith would be here doing acoustic videos, but today we are cramming in all the new, or as much new Ibanez stuff as we possibly cramming can for all 2021. So I think something like 10 videos have gone live today, mainly electric guitars, couple of pedals and these acoustic guitars and you'll see myself and Pete and Rabir showing you stuff throughout the day and I believe over on the Anderson social media channels today only uh, they are taking over and answering your questions yep. and maybe About having guests thoughts. on and all that kind of stuff yep. so if you're watching this video on the day it came out you might want to get involved with that yep. and if you're watching this video after that then hey then hey you missed, you it. missed it but the other videos are still there <laughs> So these are called the Advanced Acoustic Dreadnought Series, AAD. AAD. Uh, and an Advanced Dreadnought in Ibanez world is uh, a new shape, a kind of a new shape, you know, a, a, a yeah. twist on a shape, uh, where what they've basically done is taken the Dreadnought size and made it 5% bigger. I, hence I the thought advanced it felt dreadnought. quite big on, on my, yes. my lap here, Lee. But yes, yeah, so this is the Advanced Dreadnought. Um, and it's a kind of a, a slightly odd range in that the guitars that we've got here and what makes up the bulk of the range are more affordable. So yeah. we're talking sort of, you know, five, six hundred pounds and, and downwards. Yeah. And then there's like a crazy signature version for John Gom, the acoustic virtuoso John Gom, which is like twenty five hundred or something yeah, like that. Like, uh, and obviously a quite a different spec guitar, but still using this concept of advanced dreadnought. Yeah. We have a new style of bracing. They're calling it uh, XM. So it's traditional X, but with some M bits on it, I suppose. There is even a picture of it here if you want to see that. Um, and then in the range we have, there's actually five guitars. Um, two of them are basically this one with and without a pickup, which is why we haven't got yeah. the fifth one here. So yes, if you want the 100 series, uh, it's this one with no pickup. That's the most affordable one. Then you can have essentially the 100 with the pickup. There's a 140, which is again, only available as a non-electro version. Um, a this Kume has, top, right? On that's this right, one? sorry, I, I meant to say yeah, yeah. A, a Kume back and sides on um, all the guitars. Yeah. And then solid Sitka top on this one. A kume top on this one, and again matata. Uh, a kume matata, yes, because <laughs> um, it means no worries. So that's what that's what we've got. All the natural top ones you're seeing are, are the solid Sitka tops. Yeah, and then when you get into the 170 and the 300, you get cutaways. Um, you get here. slightly nicer appointments, like the rosettes, very pretty. Um, yeah, you, and then this one here, you've got. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little extra inlay uh, down the front of the fingerboard here and there's a reddish piece of wood inlay around here and in the row set so and I also think, on if i remember rightly as well you've got uh, an ebony fretboard and yeah. uh bridge on there whereas this is a kume yeah the main thing this though on that one is the stereo pickup output yeah if you look on uh, the rear end of the guitar you've got yeah. two jack we're just gonna i oh, will do that in the end we'll, we'll do that jam the end. out yeah so we'll slightly that. unusually on this range of guitars there's no sense that the guitars are, are using a straightforward piazzo pickup for the uh the bulk of the electronics so this one this one uh, and sort half of that one uses this magnetic pickup here. Yeah. And then in addition to that, that's actually got a contact pickup in it as well. So I don't even think it's Piazzo at all. It's a, it's an under, you know, it's a oh, contact right. okay. style. Okay. Um, but of course they can uh, answer those questions. If you are, yeah. are now there over there and you can answer the question. So what you... we'll do is for microphone only, if I can unplug this without making a humongous click, it's let's not, just yeah. strum and strum. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to plug this one in. <laughs> because uh, I just want you to basically hear the difference between a spruce top and an akume top. So, uh, Pete, what... what um, <laughs> a laughing fit there. Let, let's try and... I'm using the soft edge of my plectrum in a soft strummy pattern oh. so that we're not too different here. We've got the same microphone, uh -huh. uh, and here is a G chord on this guitar. I mean, this is not a very scientific experiment because <laughs> we're going to play different. We sit differently from the microphones. But there will be... Certainly a difference. <laughs> Could we make this scientifically more accurate or no, should we just really. carry on? Okay, what about with different it. chords? Yeah. Would an E chord be more scientifically? Okay. 
I mean, normally it's quite common to see ranges of acoustics where some have a, a spruce top and then an alternative would have a mahogany top. Yeah, or cedar top or something like that. Yeah, and normally speaking, I'm thinking on something like a, a Martin uh, the M, 0015 M or yeah, yeah, M series. series sorry, it's 15. Normally you expect the, the, the spruce top ones to have a little bit more top end and brightness there and the mahogany top ones to be a little bit more mellow sounding. Yeah. Um, but I just sometimes I think, as Pete said, you know, that the differences can often be um, harder to hear when you've just got two players yeah, playing and it's... one maybe has a slightly different style to yeah. the other. Um, but there we go. Look, so these are, I don't know if it's, do you want to just do a I'll little? I'll just do a little bit. I forgot I had the cutaway there, I just I ran into problems <laughs> up here. So, the, so. at the moment in the range, um, it's nice. the Feels Akume nice to top version is not available in any other models, so there's no cutaway, no electroacoustic version. You could of course fit your own pickup to it yeah, if you, you wanted could. to, that's pretty straightforward nowadays. Um, but that's a pretty guitar. This, as I mentioned, is available with and without the electronics. And of course, if you go up to one of these models, you're kind of getting this with a cutaway as well. And so also, these are these are satin finished, where these have got slightly lacquer on them, yeah. right? Ne satin neck, but at least they uh, they make a back. big deal in the spec about this being like a rolled edge, thermo aged neck. Yeah. I get the principle of thermo aging, you know, this idea that you're um, trying to artificially age uh, the wood to recreate the sort of resonance of an yeah, old piece of wood. Old, yeah. um, I wouldn't have said that I'm really feeling a, an edge that feels particularly differently rolled to any other acoustic guitar. It's I mean, slightly some, rolled. Some Martins I find where you've got the slightly wider fretboard, there's a, you can really feel that sort of edge on here and you don't really feel it on here but yeah it's not like it's not rolled like my old favorite strat is kind of rolled no but, but that's like, that's like this way all the way around it's yeah. like a round <laughs> neck <isn't it? laughs> anyway so we uh it gets, it, all the questions over there we're trying to make this video short today right that sounds good i'm i'm intentionally strumming with like the the, the bit of my plectrum that wasn't designed to be strummed with because i that's, kind of feel i it, do that all yeah, there's, there's the bit it is designed to be strummed with this is the bit. Yeah. And I, I like always that roll my sound. You know, you've got the it's playing playing some fingerstyle stuff on this. It's, it's really nice. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Do you know what I quite like? I like what they've done with the twelfth fret inlay. Two little dots, but the other side. The wrong around. way. Well, as in not the traditional way around. You might have yeah. to get a real close up on these, but. Look, that's kind of classy, that's isn't it? That's very cool. I like, I like it. it. Hey, James! Um, right, oh. <laughs> let's plug in the electroacoustic-y ones. Well, I've done that now, but so you do it first, and then I'll and do then this you'll one have because I've got yes, the Sergio's and this one in it. So, um, so now you're hearing the 170, and you're only hearing it plugged in, and you're hearing it obviously coming through this magnetic pickup, and I've got tone and volume on the side with the tone at like halfway. And, you know, again, it's hard to really, it doesn't feel, unless somebody said to you, you know, that's 5% bigger than a normal dreadnought. I don't think you'd really that's get like it, a, but you can't, when someone says it, you go, oh yeah, maybe my elbow is a teeny bit further up than it normally would be. It feels a bit wider as well, but, it, but it's like, that's like uh, Greg Cox guitar, 5% bigger. Yeah. They're doing this this idea of the tapered headstock. I think the idea is to try and get the strings straight through the, the nut, whereas a normal width, Headstock, yeah. you find the, 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 the string angle over the, the nut is yeah. it's more off to the side. So again, the idea with this, it should help with the tuning a bit. That's a feature across them all. Yeah. Um, I said this thermonuclear aging or whatever they're doing <laughs> to the wood to, to make it more resonant. 
I mean, I'm kind of, we've got scalloped uh, bridges here as well, which again should help with, you yeah. know, that whole resonance piece. They're certainly very pretty looking. Yep. It's, it's difficult to know. Acoustics is such a personal yeah, it thing. Is. Yeah, there's, it is, yeah. there's not really a right or a wrong. Nope. There's only what you like. And also, just to mention, there's no bags or cases with these. Yeah. So. I kind of feel with acoustic guitars, as an electric player, predominant electric player, you would get yourself a Strat and a Tele and a Les Paul. And, and over the years, you'd aim to perhaps own a few different styles. Yeah. Whereas I think, unless you're a hardcore acoustic player, you tend to lump in and just have one, don't you? Yeah, that's like one, one acoustic. That's one. Why, and not, I, why not have three or four know, different acoustic I, sizes? I sort of feel... Fretnod, an O M shape, an O O yeah. shape, or an, a little one, and a big one. A yeah, I do, I do. I mean, I'm not suggesting one. that you should do that, but I do kind of feel that unless you do do that, you do never do. really find out what you prefer. No. The most? Yeah. And I know, what's your favourite? It's a, it's a well, 0015, isn't no, it? Well, I've, it got, I've got an 015M, mm. and then I've got an OM28, uh, and then I've got a, you know, a couple of other th bits and bobs, but um, I, the, my next one's definitely a Dreadnought. I need a, an 18 Dreadnought. You just want know. a straight D18, I want a D, straight D18, uh, yeah. Martin D18. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with these, but it's just a guitar that... I feel like there's, I the need D18 is what connection. inspired yeah, all exactly. of these, isn't it? But there's it, there's just something about it for me that I, I would like yeah. to spend that extra bit of money, and you spend then they sound completely different, you know. Yeah, uh, you pick it up, you play it in a different way. I don't know. So I got a D35, yeah. which is another dreadnought shape, which, which we did a video on, and I and I had for a sm short while one of those Atkin Gibson uh, like yeah. the L00, yeah, or an LG. And I just, and it's lovely, lovely guitar. And I sort of enjoyed having it. And then like, you know, a year after owning it, I went, yeah, I've played you for about half an hour. <laughs> it's probably- yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? With you know, the acoustic guitar, um, you have to be into it. Anyway, we're rambling yeah, sorry. on here. We do do you want the cable? These, uh, yes, please. So I'm interested in this because this has two pickups, a contact pickup and the magnetic pickup and a stereo out. And I'm kind of interested in, because they're two discrete outputs. Yeah. Are you going to get some element of double tracking that just fattens well, well, it, or are out. you just going to literally hear so a, we find a out, different? Yes. So we find out. Let's find out. Okay, Lisa, here is where it becomes interesting. We don't need that, so I'm going to put need that the mic. to that side. And then you've got on the top here, there's two uh, volumes, and one is for the um, sort of the contact mic, and the other one is for the uh, this. What do you a call it? This is a magnetic one. one. So yeah. no tone control. So no tone control. I see. Tone control is just <laughs> up to the. <laughs> this was like <laughs> Indiana Jones there behind me with two games. <laughs> uh, so this one here is, it? is the. Is this? Got to be the magnetic one. Magnetic one. So the back one here is the magnetic one. I mean, you'd probably you just get your little lapel made out and then put a, a little mag <laughs> label on. And this here will then be your. Yes. So you can do all these slippy slappy. But the, the idea is then you can blend those two in together. Or you can, for instance, take one output and get, put into a chorus or a reverb or something and you get some interesting sounds in mm. that way. Or you can have two, I guess you can have two little amps on stage, you know, one can run some, you can have one that's wet and one that's dry. I wonder if it? the magnetic could have a, almost more of an electric guitar vibe amp to well, it. Well, you could, you know, if, like, um, you know, people... Like, like, what's his name? Mike yeah, Dawes. Mike Dawes. Runs, so he'll put a, he'll have yeah. an electric, you know, you'll have an electric uh, uh, guitar See? setup kind of thing. So it's really cool, actually. We're about 530 quid for this, maybe a little bit more. That sounds really good. Any uh, reverb you hear has been put on Can you turn the, turn the contact mic down slightly? I can. And just have like maybe like two thirds magnetic and one third contact. Oh, sorry, this is just the magnetic. I'm gonna add in the, uh, the contact.
sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, it really I'm, sounds nice. I'm sort of mixed, really, in the sense of I think everybody knows Piazzo sounds and and. I don't mind the sound of piazzos, but I get that they're much, much brighter with much more sort of attack and a sort of slightly unnatural way to miking it up. Yeah. Then you go to magnetic, and it's almost the complete opposite. Yeah. It's so dark. Yeah. Um, and then you use the contact, and, I, and the contact mic is the one I think is probably the most faithful reproduction. But yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't like the the noise that you hear of hitting the. You know, See, I don't mind that though. It gives it a, it gives it that sort of the 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 flavour of a of a microphone in front, you know. If you blend it in the right place, if I take that out, so what? If, what's that now? It's just the just, the, just magnet. the magnet. And I'm gonna full up on the contact. Probably wouldn't go full up. Yeah, but so I don't the, know. the I've got a uh, lips blend in my Martin. I put that in in the OM28. It's got a little gooseneck microphone that you can blend in with it. You know. Anyway, rambling on. No, this I'm, is fine. I'm, I think we've, I'm we've trying to just get up. to a point where it's like I think the pickup system on that guitar is aimed at. I think that's probably why they've gone for John Gom as an endorsee or vice versa. He's picked up because it 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 doesn't feel to me like you're buying that guitar because you want the most faithful mic'd up sound out of the output it feels to me like you've bought that specifically so that you can run the magnetic into say some effects and the contact gives you all the percussive yeah, thing extra i don't know that i, I think, think it's clever it is I, I, it's I think clever it's good, but it's, good it's, idea. it's yeah i'm still there's very very few acoustic guitars where you sit and go oh yeah that plugged in sound sounds that is that's true that's, that's like the that's nirvana true. isn't it i mean yeah. one or two uh, brands like the I know the Tommy Emmanuel stuff and yeah. the, and the Cole Clark stuff is, is pretty good for that. Sort but then of thing, but. you know if you are for acoustic for me it's just a studio thing where you, where you put a nice microphone in front of it and then you yeah. you'll be recorded anyway yes. and then it's live. Or you sit at home write songs or if you're playing yeah. in a rock and roll band to be honest with you it doesn't really matter what you just the pickup system acoustic is sonic. just cl plug it in yeah, or do acoustic sonic. Oh you get but a little boss pedal that makes so, it sound like acoustic guitar. Uh, <laughs> we ramble on um, if yeah. you've got any questions as I said and it's the day that of release on here uh, dive on over to Anderson's social media there'll be Ivan bods ready to to answer your questions there's even rumors that people like john gom may be on yeah uh, for short rumors. periods of the time and Steve the perhaps who knows who Let's knows see what happens. that's what i'm here nobody knows but anyway yeah. uh that's thank it. you for watching yeah. uh see you in the next one